when you are shopping around for an audio interface. If it doesn't tell you that it's 24-bit audio, it's probably 16-bit audio. So let's jump back over to the gear guide, studiolivetoday.com slash gear. And uh, if we come in here and we'll go into something like uh, the, the the focus, or actually we'll go to one of the other audio interfaces that I use, which is the uh, Steinberg UR22C. Let's go in here to, uh, we'll go over to Amazon this time, see if they have it in stock over at Amazon. Uh, they don't. <laughs> but what you'll notice is you see how, about this item, it says industry leading converters providing up to 32 bit 192 kilohertz audio. Now, 32 bits overkill. As long as you've got 24 bit, you're fine. But hey, future proof yourself. And 192 kilohertz audio, I mean, I use 44.1. I know a lot of people use 48 kilohertz or, four, or 96 or 192. It really doesn't matter. But as long as you've got at least 24 bit and uh, 44.1, that's generally enough. But the, the problem is if you go for something like the Behringer, like a lot of folks do this when they start out, they get the Behringer UM2. Now, I'm not going to just sit here and bag on Behringer. If, if you've only got $44 to spend on an audio interface, it's better than nothing. It's better than just trying to plug in using like a, an adapter cable. You still get a preamp, you still get a, a line input, you still get the ability to record. But if you come down here, you'll notice that when it doesn't tell you, see how it just says uh, audio file, which I think is... It's a bit of a laugh. Audio file, 48 kilohertz resolution for pro pro professional quality recording, maximum sampling rate, 48. So the, the, the Steinberg had a 192. This has 48. But if it doesn't mention the bit rate, it, it, it's like it's not going to mention it if it's not good. So anything that doesn't tell you that it's 24-bit or 32-bit means it's a 16-bit interface. And that just means that you're not getting as much dynamic range. You're not getting as much clarity into your recordings. You're going to get more noise, more signal-to-noise ratio, and you're not going to get that same clarity you would with 24-bit audio. We have 24-bit audio in all of our software now. So in 2021 and 2022, you kind of want to buy yourself hardware that has a 24-bit processor, 24-bit uh, preamp, so that your converters can convert audio up to 24-bit.